Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we get a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. As you guys know, we are two days out of Europa Pro, UK Pro, and we got a new physique update from Patrick Moore, a new one from today, I guess. So he posted his story, he's going through the poses with a posing coach right here, and uh, he took a screenshot, I guess, or his uh, posing coach did, and he posted his on his story now the quality of this uh, screenshot is, is not high we can't really see what his conditioning truly looks like but we can get a pretty good idea of what patrick is bringing and as you guys know this guy was basically super heavily criticized by pretty much everybody since his 2019 mr olympia showing that was a show where he brought it 2019 was his year he won that california pro and then he came to the mr olympia and he looked amazing he took that 10th spot and he thought we thought everybody thought that he was the future of the sport that actually became his nickname but he failed to fulfill his uh, destiny so he was not able to bring that same conditioning ever again and the progress he made throughout the years was well let's say non-existent he was basically the same every year with just worse conditioning so for some reason he was not able to do anything he was failing show after show for some reason he just couldn't deliver and he kept calling himself the future though he kept having this attitude of his like he was always like i'm gonna come back i'm gonna show everybody how good i am and this and that uh it never happened but is this the year I mean, we haven't really seen a lot from him during this prep. We know that he did an off-season, an actual off-season finally with a coach, with Dom Cardone, and it looked promising. And there was a physique update at like two weeks out, but it seems like that physique update was old. It was from a previous prep. But now we got this one, and this one has to be recent. And, I mean, again, we can't really see much. I don't think, from what I'm seeing, I don't think he's bringing that crispy level of condition that he actually brought that year at the Mr. Olympia, but it seems like his legs are looking bigger. And that, in fact, was his biggest weakness as far as muscularity, as far as his body parts. His legs were always uh, down in size, but now they're actually looking much bigger. You know, it looks like he added some thickness in those adductors, you know, like his legs overall looking bigger and fuller. I would probably say the same thing about his upper body, like especially uh, chest, arms, shoulders, they wouldn't say so, but... Again, this photo is super low quality, maybe the thing is going to be different once he steps on stage, we're going to find out in like two days, but conditioning wise, I don't think he is super shredded, and his main competition in this show is Andrea Presti, and we know what Andrea Presti is going to bring, he is going to be peeled out of his mind. Andrea Presti is going to bring and I'm sure like he's going to be shredded and also he's a very good bodybuilder like he's very complete and huge so as of right now I mean I can see that Patrick maybe made some progress size wise but unless he comes in crispy shredded I definitely don't see him beating Andrea Presti but yeah once again you can't really see the conditioning in this photo but you can see the size progress I think there is some size um, progression i think there is a difference especially in the legs and this photo was taken like from a higher angle so his legs should look even smaller but they're actually looking decent so i think he did put on some size whatever you guys think tell me down below all right so i mentioned andrea presti and actually hunter labrada posted a couple of photos and some videos from uh, italy pro and what he says here is very interesting so he says it's really disappointing that the live stream and all the professional photos made myself and the rest of the athletes look like melted mashed potatoes. And before anyone says, nah, Hunter, that was just you, know that the opening guys are a tight-knit group and we talk and none of us were happy. I truly don't know why my physique is reflected so poorly in stage photos and streams, but it is. Ask anyone that has seen me in person, maybe some of y'all could chime in and they'll tell you it's night and day. And at this point has become a running joke amongst my circle of how different I look in photos versus real life. Well, if you go through the comments, you will actually see some comments from some uh, known guys, like Patrick Tour, for example, who says he saw Hunter the night before and on the stage, and he says that he was completely different in person than on those uh, videos and photos. And we got some uh, stage uh, photos and videos uh, taken with an iPhone, and actually here, Hunter looks like he was like in really good condition, right? I mean, take a look at this. 
And people actually said, a lot of people actually said it, Andrea Presti was like very close to Hunter, that he could have beaten him, but based on this here, I mean, they're both in the videos and the photos. Based on this here, it doesn't seem like that. It actually seems like a clear win for Hunter. You know, he was actually in a, in a condition very close to Andrea Presti. Andrea had the drier glutes, but he always has like super, super rock hard glutes. It's rare to see such, such dry and lean glutes. Like that, that's a rarity, honestly. Hunter was also in very good shape based on this. And he was definitely way more complete. Like his legs are massive, his arms are massive, back is there. I mean, chest is also there. Like, look at this. Like a lot more, a lot more density, a lot more thickness. Super big. He definitely made a lot of progress. Like he's just bigger, rounder everywhere. And once again, compared to the live stream and the professional photos taken by a very good photographer, I have to say, Moria Photo. So I guess it's the lighting. I mean, what else could it be? And I've actually seen this uh, in real life, I mean, I, I've experienced this, like, sometimes on stage, higher quality photos don't do your justice, so I, I believe what Hunter's saying is true. But the problem I have with Hunter's physique, basically, is only his midsection, and I have a huge problem with that. I don't know, some people are just ignoring it, not even talking about it, I just can't ignore it. It's just very bad for me. I mean, still, he was so impressive that I still have to give him the first spot here. And at the Mr. Olympia, like, still, he's going to place very high. But, like, at some points when I see it, I'm like, this guy should place that last because of that. That's how much it bothers me. So I hope he can fix that somehow. I don't know how, but, like, maybe trying to control it better, you know, pull a vacuum in all the poses. I don't know, man, but, like... It's distracting, it's really distracting, and like, the way he's posing, like, when he's hitting the front double bicep, he's actually flexing the abs instead of pulling them in, you know, he can definitely change some things to make that look better, but I gotta say, in these videos, you know, taken by a phone, his stomach actually looks better than on the live stream or in the professional photos, it doesn't look that bad, but it's still a big issue, however, as far as, like, muscularity, size, and conditioning at this show, he actually did look very good now that I'm looking at these videos. Now, whoever took these videos, I guess, intentionally didn't film Andrea Presti, and he compared Hunter to the other guys, because Andrea Presti is the only guy that actually kind of sort of pushed Hunter, so we can't really see these guys compared. I mean, here, this was just the, the, the pose down afterwards, they weren't next to each other uh, so much, but here you can see the difference in conditioning. So yeah, sure, uh, Andrea Presti was uh, harder. And his glutes, I mean, who has dry glutes like this? I mean, nobody probably. Like, this is very rare. This is insane. Hunter's glutes could be leaner. He could be more conditioned. I don't think there is a problem with peaking. I think he peaked almost perfectly. I think he just needs to strip away a little bit more fat for the Mr. Olympia. And that's it. Peak the same way, basically. But as far as Andrea Presti, yeah, he was in better condition. But, like, his balance, lower body to upper body, is just, it's just not there. You know, and of course, like, Hunter is bigger, more muscular, more complete, you know, has a better flow, I would say, you know, balance between muscle body parts. So, yeah, I definitely see Hunter winning this clearly, but as far as Andrea Presti versus Patrick Moore, I'm pretty sure Andrea Presti is going to win the UK. I really can't imagine Patrick Moore bringing something uh, this conditioned, this, this big and full and this complete... Like, Andrea Presti, I just don't... I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, yeah, he made progress, but, like, is he gonna be this shredded for the UK? Maybe for later shows, like, a Legion Sports Fest, but for the UK? I don't think so. I don't think so. However, Andrea Presti has this flaw. It's his legs. It's not so much how big his legs are, but, like, how wide he is in the shoulders, in the lats. Like, he is super wide. His upper body is so, so crazy tapered that his legs just can't match that. I mean, yeah, his legs are not the biggest, but, like, they're not that small. And it seems like they came up a little bit from his, from his last season, but he still needs to work on them, that's for sure. Now, as far as beating Patrick Moore, I think he can probably do that even like this. I think this is still a very good package, and I don't know if Patrick can match this. But we'll see in two days. All right, next up, we got a lag update <laughs> from Phil Heath. So, lately we have seen a lot from his upper body, like, he was showing us what he looks like when he's training in a tank top, and he actually took his shirt off as well, 
but he never really showed us his legs. And now we can see his legs. And I gotta say, I'm surprised with how much muscle he managed to maintain in these uh, four years since he retired. I mean, usually the guys who retire, they lose their legs first, unless they train them hard. So I don't know if Phil Heath really trained them hard in his retirement, but he definitely, you know, maintained them quite nicely. Now, I'm not gonna mention Phil Heath comeback, that's... That's a done deal, that's, that, that's, that's settled, he's not gonna be competing again. I'm just gonna show you what he looks like right now in case you haven't seen this. And I wanna ask you what do you think? You know, since he's retired for four years, how well is his physique maintaining? I know he's not competitive anymore and we probably shouldn't even discuss his physique anymore, but like, it's always interesting to see how these guys are holding up after they retire. I mean, Phil Heath is the legend of the sport, he's the second best bodybuilder of all time, without a doubt. So it's very interesting to see this kind of stuff, at least for me. It is kind of sad to see these legends just disappear, you know, lose all their size. I mean, it's gonna happen to everyone eventually, but it's not happening to Phil Heath right now, and I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. And once again, his legs are actually looking very good. They're definitely holding on much better than I would expect, but whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Oh, and uh, to one week and a couple of days out of Legion Sports Fest, we got a physique update from Brett Wilkin. And he's also looking very good. I definitely have him winning the Legion Sports Fest. Uh, his biggest competition is Patrick Moore. So we have to wait and see what Patrick Moore is bringing to the UK. And then we can make a better assessment if uh, Patrick can win the Legion Sports or it's going to be Brett. But as of right now, based on what I'm seeing from Brett, like his conditioning is very good. He's holding on to a lot of size. He's just also very complete, like he has arms, shoulders, back, chest, legs came up as well. He has pretty much everything, very complete. Also small waist, great abs, like he's very dense, very round, and also it looks like he's bringing very good conditioning, so I have him winning Legion Sports against Patrick Moore, but I might be wrong, that's the way I see it. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.